Gray squirrels are maddeningly good at getting on bird feeders. I wonder, why is it so hard to outsmart a rodent with a brain the size of a ping pong ball? So I invited my friend Noah out uh, because he is an expert on squirrel behavior. <laughs> I have spent... Oh, I don't know. 12 hours perfecting this system. <laughs> When it was six feet, they could jump that far. So I kept moving it farther. So seven feet, laterally, they can't jump. Yeah. <laughs> so I started out and I hung out with a cord. Look yeah. at this. Strong like you, cord. Uh, bit right through it. Mm. All right. Wire. We're going to do wire. See how they like that. Bit right through it. And then I got the chain. Mm. So they can't bite through this. Think about the brain power that's gone into yeah. beating squirrels on bird feeders. Yeah. Wait. Collectively. Amazing. Yeah. Right. You could cure cancer. <laughs> squirrels are so effective at solving problems because they're endlessly observant, experimental, and persistent. These are they're such social animals, right? And they spend so much time watching their world. Their prodigious memories can retain the locations of thousands of buried seeds. Sometimes I can't even remember where I parked my car. Their bodies and sharp claws are beautifully adapted for climbing, as you can tell if you examine a roadkill. And then also when you look at their, their paws, they're extraordinarily long. They're so long that it allows them to really wrap their talons and their toes around things to give them incredible dexterity. <laughs> they are hard to beat, but you know, in some ways, isn't that the admirable quality that, yeah. that makes it so wonderful to interact with them in your yard? In the end, I think I did outsmart the squirrels, but I learned not to judge a rodent by the size of its brain. <laughs>